On February 14, 1989, the main Ayatollah in Iran, the Ayatollah Khomeini, unilaterally declared that Salman Rushdie should die for writing the Satanic Verses. Thirty years later, can you still buy the Satanic Verses in bookstores? That's what I tried to find out. Yes, good morning. Hi. Um, I'm wondering, did you carry a, um, uh, uh, the, um, it's a controversial book, but uh, Salman Rushdie's book, uh, Satanic Verses, can I get a copy there or not? <laughs> no way. Okay. Okay. Yes, hi. I'm trying to find a um, particular book. It's, it's a bit controversial, but do you uh, carry um, the Satanic Verses, the Salman Rushdie book, or is that kind of forbidden? Hello? 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 stop the music. First, let me answer the question, okay? The short answer is this. Yes, the Satanic Verses is still sold in bookstores in the U.S. and in the U.K., online and offline, though some don't carry it. Uh, you can see here Waterstones in the U.K., you know, has it in stock, and uh, Barnes & Noble sells it, uh, Amazon, U.S. and U.K., uh, both um, uh, sell it, uh, and indie bookstores carry it as well, though you can see why, you know, some might be squeamish about it, given that the fatwa uh, sent Rushdie into hiding for years, and, you know, several people associated with the book were attacked or and murdered, um, and, you know, yes, you know, bookstores were also, you know, targeted with violence as well. After Khomeini's fatwa, bookstores around the world that sold the book were burned and bombed and threatened. For example, at this very site in Berkeley, California, at Cody's Books, sometime before 2 a.m. on February 28, 1989, someone threw two bombs through these very windows. One exploded, the other, a pipe bomb, landed in the poetry section where there was a controlled detonation of it sometime later. The owner and employees of Cody subsequently made a very brave decision to continue to sell these satanic verses. Ultimately, the store remained in business until 2008, when the internet did to it what jihadists could not. On the same block is Mo's Books. Uh, this is just south of the University of California at Berkeley, the birthplace of the free speech movement where, for the record, the Satanic Verses is not sold in 2019. Celebrated authors were, of course, also threatened, too. Uh, you know, I personally, I witnessed um, Norman Mailer standing up to a bomb threat at a pen reading um, in favor of Rushdie in February 1989 in New York. You know, I actually covered the the bomb threat against Mailer at uh, at the Rushdie rally back in '89 for this New Jersey newspaper. Um, you know, for a byline piece titled uh, "Khomeini Has Spoken" and everything. And you know, there was a bit at the end about the about Mailer's response to the to the bomb threat. He said he was very funny. He said, you know, that it only costs a quarter you know, to make a telephone bomb threat and everything. Um, outside the venue, as I was coming in, I could see on the sidewalk, there were dozens of pro-Ayatollah um, uh, protesters just angrily shouting, death to Rushdie, you know? And I was just taken aback. It was the first time um, I had ever witnessed that level of religious-fueled hatred um, openly displayed. I 
Godley, um, City Lights Books in San Francisco, whose uh, foundational identity was was based on a banned book, um, does not seem to carry the satanic verses, though they do sell uh, Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. No, we don't have a copy of this right now. Okay, all right. Okay, fair enough. Um, thank you. Uh, have a good day. Oh, good. Okay, great. That's so uh, let me make that a brief hold. It looks like we might have one copy. One copy. Okay. Paper. I need one paperback copy. Can we send a whole Um, that's okay. It's it's just. Hmm. Is it a copy? Do you want to put it on hold? Is it hardcover or or uh, paperback? Paperback. Paper. So there you have it. Around a third of a century after the fatwa. It's clear that the Ayatollah Khomeini and his supporters did not, or at least have not, stop people from selling or buying these satanic verses. In fact, Khomeini essentially turned a relatively obscure novel into a pop cultural flashpoint and icon.